In part one of this series of presentations on the first law of thermodynamics, we learn that a system contains some amount of total energy, denoted by the letter E. This total energy stored in the system consists of the internal energy, U, which is related to the molecular structure of the system and to the degree of molecular activity. The total energy also includes the forms of energy that the system possesses as a whole with respect to some outside reference frame. For our model, these include the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the system. The total amount of energy contained in the system changes when energy is gained or lost by crossing the system boundary. The total energy of the system increases when energy enters the system, and the total energy decreases when energy leaves the system. Energy can enter or leave a system in three forms, heat transfer, work transfer, and mass flow. Let's take a closer look at each of these mechanisms of energy transfer. Heat is the form of energy that is transferred between two systems due to a temperature difference. Suppose that our system is at some temperature T1. If there is another system with a temperature of T2, which is greater than T1, then energy will be transferred into our system in the form of heat, thus increasing the total energy of our system. For example, a cold beverage placed in a warm room will warm up as heat is transferred from the surroundings to the beverage. If there is another system with a temperature of T3 which is less than T1, then energy will be transferred out of our system in the form of heat, thus decreasing the total energy of our system. A hot beverage placed in a cool room will cool down due to heat transfer from the beverage to the surroundings. Now, let's look at energy transferred by work. Work transfer includes all energy which crosses the boundary of a system, which is not heat and which is not due to mass crossing the boundary. Work is the energy transfer associated with a force acting through a distance, such as electrical work or mechanical forms of work like shaft work. The last mechanism by which energy can be transferred to or from a system is mass flow. When mass enters a system, the total energy of the system increases because the mass carries some energy in with it. Similarly, when mass leaves a system, the total energy of the system decreases because the leaving mass takes out some energy with it. 